guys, it's your girl Shishi and welcome to my channel. This is Shishi vs. English. This is a place where I practice my English communication skills. I know you're sick of hearing that for the last 4 months and for the last 28 days but I am almost near the end so you can bear with me because this is the day 28 of my 30 day learning English idioms challenge. That's right, day 28. Alright, so just a few more days guys i'll be over this 30-day challenge that i got into which <laughs> all right today we're still going to be talking about time just like yesterday so let's start idiom number one around the clock meaning at all times for example the guards roam the building around the clock so you have to be really careful. That's in a context where you're trying to sneak into a building. <laughs> Idiom number two, behind the times. Meaning, old fashioned. For example, my father still reads the newspaper. He's still behind the times. And no, he's not reading the New York Times. My father doesn't read newspaper. <laughs> Idiom number three, call it a day or call it a night. Meaning, stop working either on a job or on a particular task. For example, we've been working for too long, guys. Let's call it a day. So there you have it, guys. Our three idioms for today. Around the clock, behind the times, call it a day or call it a night. As usual, you know what to do. If you know any other idioms about times, comment it down below. I'd love to interact with you guys. Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so there's a mosquito.